Hi, let's discuss decrease by a constant factor algorithm. Decrease and conquer is divided into three types. One is decrease by constant. Examples are insertion sort, topological sort. Second is decrease by a constant factor. Example is binary sort. Third is variable size decrease. Example is GCD. What is decrease by a constant factor? Suppose n elements are given and we are dividing n by 2, n by 2 and we are trying to solve that is a decrease by constant factor. Even we can divide n into n by 3, n by 3, n by 3. So whether we are doing half or one third, so that is a decrease by constant factor. Divide and conquer is also same. We are dividing n element into some part and we are trying to solve. So we are dividing and we are trying to solve. So you can say decrease Decrease by a constant factor is same as divide and conquer algorithm. In some book, you will see binary search is an example of divide and conquer. In some book, you will see binary search is an example of decrease by a constant factor. So, decrease by constant factor is equivalent to divide and conquer. That's why binary search is an example of both decrease by constant factor and divide and conquer. Next chapter is divide and conquer. There I will not discuss binary search as I am discussing binary search here decrease by a constant factor just remember binary search is both decrease by a constant factor and divide and conquer decrease by a constant factor algorithm usually run in logarithmic timing let's discuss binary search binary search is an algorithm for searching in a sorted array i already discussed sequential search that is a brute force approach in sequential source, we can source on a random array that is not sorted, but binary source we can do in a sorted array. The array should be sorted, then only we can apply the binary source. It works by comparing a source key K, this is our source key, with array's middle element. If they match, the algorithm stop, otherwise same operation is repeated recursively. For the first half of the array, if K less than A of M, and for the second half, if k greater than a of m. So, one r is given, we will compare k with the middle element. If k is less than middle element, then we will search here. If k is greater than middle element, then we will search here. If you remember, in sequential source, we are comparing k with every element. Their running time is theta of n, where in binary source, running time is theta of log n. We are just comparing with the middle element. In sequential source, we are comparing with every element. Let's discuss binary search algorithm. For binary search algorithm, input is a sorted array and the source key. And output will be index of the key and minus 1 if search fail or if no such elements are present. So L will be 0, L means left, R will be n minus 1. So left is 0, right is n minus 1, while L less than equals to R do, M will be L plus R divided to floor function, M is for middle element, if K equals to A of M, return M, else if K less than A of M, R will be M minus 1, else K will be greater than A of M, in that case L will be M plus 1. Suppose after this it will not find the key, then it will return minus 1. So what will be best case and worst case? Best case if source key present at the middle element, so it will be theta of 1 as best case. And what will be worst case? If source key is not found or so in some cases successful searches. When source key is found but maximum time after doing maximum iteration we are finding the source key. So, best case is theta of 1 while worst case will be theta of log n. Let's find the running time. Since after one comparison, the algorithm faces some situation, but for an array half the size, we get following recurrence relation. Recurrence relation for binary search is c host n equals to c host n divide 2 plus 1. That you can write as t of n equals to t of n divide 2 plus 1 and you can apply either back substitution or recursion tree method or master method. 
I already discussed how to solve recurrence relation. Let me apply master method. So here what will be A? A will be 1, B will be 2. This is our A, this is our B. So A is 1, B is 2 and F of N equals to 1. Next N power log A base B. N power log 1 base 2 that is N power 0 equals to 1. We got n power log a base b equals to 1 that is equals to f of n. So this comes under case 2. Then running time will be theta of n power log a base b multiplication log n and this we found as 1. So running time will be theta of log n. If we solve by back substitution method then we will get exact c host n will be log n base 2 plus 1 and c best of n equals to 1. If we find source key at the middle element first time that is our best case. If we will do maximum iteration that will be our worst case. We will do maximum iteration if source key is not available or if source key is available but after doing maximum iteration. Let us see an example here search key is 70. This is our index and one R is given. Index starting from 0 to 12. So what will be L and R and M? L will be this 0, R is 12 and M will be L plus R divided 2. So it will be 0 plus 12 divided 2 it is 6. M will be 6. Next we need to compare K with the R of M. So K is 70 and and A of M is 55. 70 is greater than 55. When 70 is greater than 55, L will be M plus 1. Next, L will be here. So now L will be here. This is our L. 70 will be new L. R will be same 12. And next, what will be M? 7 plus 12 divided 2 floor function 7 plus 12 is 19 19 divided to floor function that will be 9 this is our l this is our r this is our m next we will compare 70 with 81 70 is less than 81 so when it is less than 81 new r will be m minus 1 so new r will be here m is 9 new r will be a minus 1 means it will be 8 r will be here l will be same as previous l will be 7 r will be 8 and what will be m m will be 7 plus 8 divided to floor function it will be 7 so m will also be 7 m l both are 7 and r is 8 now we will compare key with the middle element we will compare 70 with 70 it is equals 7 Middle element contains 70, so we found the key. It will return 7. 7 is the index where our source key 70 is present. We just did 3 iterations to find the key. This is all about binary source, a sorted array is given. We need to compare key with the middle element. If key is less than middle element or key is greater than middle element, according to that left or R will be changes. And here worst case running time is theta of log n. Best case running time is theta of 1. This is a decrease by constant factor algorithm. Also divide and conquer algorithm. With this I am finishing binary source. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.